Hello friends, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. In this video, we will discuss a very interesting and important concept of JavaScript and that is how to check 404 error page. By the help of this concept, we can detect that how many error pages are available inside a website. We have one more request. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can create such type of informative videos for you. So first thing first, what is a 404 error page? So to understand this concept, let's go to slide first. So here, for example, let's say that we have a website called example.com. And inside this URL, inside this website, we have pages as about us, it means let's say first, index.php, it means a home page. Next we have about us.php this is our about us page next we have products.php it is all about our products page and final one we have let's say contact us so contact hyphen us.php and this will be our contact us page now we can see that Inside our example.com website, we have pages as our home page, about us page, products page, and our contact us page. But if someone requests, let's say that example.com slash if someone requests for services. And as we know that this page does not exist inside our directory. So in this case, this page is not found, so it will return 404 error page. 404 indicates page not found and in these cases like a home page, about us page, products page, contact us page, it will return 200, it means page found or ok status. So in this video we will discuss a very interesting concept of JavaScript that how to check a 404 error page. Back to editor. Let's create a file here so I will call it as let's say error hyphen page dot html and here let's define our script tag so url we need to pass our page url here and what i will do i will define a function let's say url exist and inside this function i will pass our url variable and inside this url we need to pass url here now let's define this function so function url exist and this function will accept a url value so url so here we'll use the concept of xml http request so what i will do let's say where http equals to new and i will call xml http request once we create an object of this XML HTTP request, then we'll call few methods and some property. So I will call the first method as HTTP.open method. And inside this open method, look at IntelliSense or hint section. The first value we need to pass called method. So in this method, I will pass the head value. In the second, we need to pass the URL. So in this URL, we are taking URL into this function, so URL. And in the third value, we need to pass the async or sync type. So this request is synchronous, so I will pass false value. If the value equals to true, it means the request we are making as asynchronous. But in this case, the request we are injecting is synchronous, so we need to pass the false value. Now next, HTTP dot send method once we write these two lines of code now last let's say console.log and here we type called http and we need to call a property called status save this change let's go to browser into this html js directory we have one more file called error page.html so i will open this tab into duplicate and let's say error hyphen page dot html so currently inside this url we don't have any url so let's go and right click go to inspect go to console tab so here we have some error called 404 so what i will do 
inside this directory we can see here we have multiple files so let's open this disable hyphen text.html disable hyphen text.html so this page accessed i will copy this url go to editor inside this url value i will pass that so this is the complete url to access all about this page save this change go here just reload now we can see that 200 it means page accessed but if you go and let's pass something different here to disable hyphen some hyphen text.html and this page does not exist inside of project type tree go here just reload now we can see 404 means page not found so this is all about how to check a url that it exists or not so let's go and according to this status value i will go and make use of if else condition so here let's say if in case of success we'll get the value as 200 but in case of error we'll get the value as 404 so if status code is not equals to 404 it means console.log url url access but in case of other than this value console.log and this time let's say page not found so if i save this change go here again reload this page so page not found obviously here we have this page and this page does not exist inside this url now let's go and remove this sum here so disable hyphen text.html go and reload and url accessed now let's type some different url so this time let's open disable.html so what i will do let's say disable.html this url accessed go here reload this page url accessed but if we do any mistake here just adding some dummy value here go and reload page not found so this is a very basic and a very interesting concept of javascript by the help of that you can make a function to check all about 404 it means page not found so please like do comment and subscribe to our youtube channel so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day